Okay. Um, a person pulls a 50 kilogram crate 40 meter along a horizontal floor by a constant force uh, 100 newton. Okay, which acts an angle 37 degree uh, as shown in the figure below. The floor is rough and exert a frictional force 50 newton. Determine work done by each forces, normal force weight, uh, external force F and friction force, total work done. Okay, very simple. So free body diagram already provided, you see, uh, although it's not a point mass, but we still can make use of th those forces, all right? Displacement also given, uh, direction of displacement is very important because we need the displacement direction to compare with each force to get the angle theta, okay, to get the angle theta. Uh, now, uh, maybe we can write down some uh, information, okay, uh, what is the weight, okay, uh, because it's the mass, you see that? It's the mass. So uh, we can put this as uh, this is a uh, 50 uh, times gravity. Uh, yeah, that's the make it, make, it, make it bigger. Yeah, yeah, this is a uh, 50 kilogram, right? So the uh, and then the constant force F is this is 100 Newton. Uh, this is 100 Newton and uh, 37 degree rough surface. Yeah, see that it's a rough surface that means it has friction. Friction backwards, okay. Uh, so this friction should be Newton. You see that Newton. That means this is not coefficient. So this is uh, this friction is the friction. It's not coefficient. Uh, it's not the mu k. Yeah? I think this is uh, because it's moving, right? It's moving. So this is a kinetic friction. Yeah, kinetic friction. So you can put that as kinetic friction. But this one, uh, the, he give you the 50 Newton, got the unit Newton. That means this is a force, not the mu k. Uh, if mu k, no unit. Yeah? If mu k, no unit. If you give you a value, it give you a value without unit, without unit, uh, that should be the coefficient of friction, mu k. Uh, but this time got unit Newton. So it means this is a force, not mu k. So easy for you. Uh, you no need to apply the formula, what? Uh, Fk equal to mu k n. Uh, you uh, you no need to find the normal force anymore. Yeah, you no need to find the normal force anymore, and finally to find the friction. Yeah, no need. So this um uh this simple huh? a bit question a bit simple. Yeah, because you no need to find the need to apply the formula mu k n. You can straight away use the value of friction. Uh, fifty newton. Okay. So now let's do it. Okay, uh, I think we have okay. Uh, this value of friction just now is uh, is uh, fifty newton. Uh, fifty newton. Okay, fifty newton. Uh, fifty newton. Hundred newton. Normal force not necessary. Um, okay, so let's do it. Question A. Question A is the work done by. Uh, uh, maybe write down the symbol first. This is a. Uh, Work done by normal force. Work done by normal force. Okay, this is about the normal force. And this is the weight. This is the uh, weight. You should put a uh, gravitational force. And this is a friction, uh, external force F. And this is the frictional force. Okay. So question A. I want to find work done by normal force. Work done by normal force. So I put W uh, N. Uh, w N. Okay. Uh, work done by normal force, so it's a normal force dot with displacement or it is a normal force displacement cosine theta okay okay now um, let's look at here yeah so work done by normal force is normal force displacement cosine theta so uh, uh, again the angle theta just look at the angle theta first uh, angle theta yeah? you compare the uh, normal force uh, you compare normal force with uh, sorry you compare normal force with displacement again it is uh, 90 degrees isn't it cosine 90 uh, so write down cosine 90 so it is a uh, normal force this displacement cosine 90 cosine 90 again cosine 90 is zero huh? Z, uh, zero so this one you will get zero work done uh, zero work done okay uh, so uh, so what's the consequence for the kinetic energy of the get of the consequence on the kinetic energy? 
no changes uh, equal okay uh, that means uh, uh, it will not increase the kinetic energy not decrease the kinetic energy yeah so the kinetic energy remain constant right uh, uh, this work done uh, has it has done no work yeah this normal force has done no work at all uh, because it's 90 degree perpendicular yeah? force perpendicular to the displacement now look at uh, question b okay and that's why i i didn't find the value of normal force normal force because i know it is cos 90 uh, you multiply zero so what for you find the value of normal force when you multiply the zero you still get zero yeah so save your time save your time yeah okay so uh that is a breakdown first now what is the work done by the weight okay work done by the weight so i work done by the weight so of course uh put this one as work done by gravitational force uh so if we are using gravitational force now to dot with displacement so gravitational force is actually mg uh times s uh, cosine theta now okay let's continue what is the value of again you look at here you don't need to find the mass also why because um it is again now you compare what you compare between you compare between uh the the weight you compare between weight and the displacement uh weight and displacement again they are 90 degree isn't it 90 degree so you know it's cosine 90 so you don't need to calculate the the value in front save your time uh, so i just put this one as mg as cosine uh, 90 because they are 90 degree perpendicular understand so cosine 90 again zero whatever it thinks you multiply zero should get zero uh, I still get zero okay zero joule uh, so for the effect of kinetic energy okay the effect of kinetic energy is constant uh, no changes okay uh, so that's it uh, that's it for the work done by gravity zero that's correct yeah for both now how about the work done by uh, external force f okay let's do the question c Question C, work done by external force F. Then we have to use the external force F to dot with displacement. Uh, it is uh, Fs cosine theta. Okay. So what is the external force F? Okay. Uh, 100 Newton. So just put 100 Newton. 100 Newton. And then displacement is uh, 40 meter. Okay. 40 meter cosine. Ah, this one you have to compare what? Compare between uh, the external force F with displacement. F with displacement. What's the angle between F and displacement? F and displacement is 37 degree. Uh, S is, uh, S is uh, displacement is horizontal. F is 37 degree above the horizontal. So angle between F and S is 37 degree. Uh, so put 37. So you put here 37. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what's the value? Let's calculate. Yeah, let's calculate and see. Ah, okay. I got positive value. I got positive value. Uh, three one three one nine four. Eh, sorry, three one nine four point three one nine four point five four joule. Ah, so so I got a positive value. You see that? I got a positive value here. What it means? And this is a work done on the system. Work done on the system. That means the system gain energy. The block gain energy. It gain kinetic energy. This work done will will you know will uh, insert kinetic energy to the block. Uh, this work done, yeah, we will transfer energy into the block. Uh, so the block kinetic energy will increase. Uh, will increase. It is positive because this angle is less than okay uh, because this angle is uh, less than 90 uh, less than 90 degree uh, a yeah, small angle less than 90 degree uh, you surely get positive work done okay you will this this work done this external force will surely increase the kinetic energy of the block uh, yeah will increase the kinetic energy of the block uh, make it faster make it move forward faster and faster yeah? not slowing down move it faster and faster going forward Okay, now uh, let's do part D. What's the work done by frictional force? Uh, this one should get a negative work done. 
let's try first and see work done by friction force friction force then we use friction to dot with displacement uh, so which is a frictional force time displacement cosine theta so what's the frictional force the frictional force uh, i no need to apply mu kn because the frictional force is already given 50 newton so put just put 50 newton very short and simple displacement is a uh, 40 meter okay 40 meter cosine theta ah theta you need to compare between friction and displacement so uh rub that off i need to compare between friction and displacement uh, friction and displacement so friction and displacement they are opposite they are totally opposite you see that friction is to the left friction is to the left but that displacement to the right so they are totally opposite totally opposite means they are 180 degree because they are parallel you see they are parallel yet they are totally opposite so it's 180 degree between them uh, yeah just 180 so this is cosine cosine 180 Ah, so cos 180 if you press calculator is negative 1 don't believe you press okay ah, so cos is negative so uh, what's the answer let's calculate ah, the answer is uh, negative uh, negative 2000 joule ah, so what does it mean by the negative value here ah, that means this is a work done by the block work done by the system uh, it will take away the kinetic energy from the block. That means the block will lose kinetic energy. The block will lose kinetic energy. Okay? Because the, bo the block do work. The block do work or work done by the block. Work done by the system. Uh, okay? Uh, the negative work done. That means uh, the block will lose kinetic energy. Okay? But what the energy it gains is actually more than what, how much it lose. So the network done should have a positive, yeah, positive work done. Uh, look, let's 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 see. Uh, okay, just now I got until D already. All the work done by each forces already uh, calculated because there are how many forces there? There are external force, thermal force, friction, weight. So there are four forces: one, two, three, four. Four forces. If you have four forces, you must have four work done. Remember that, yeah? If you have uh, here, you have uh, four forces, four forces, uh, then you must have four work done. Ah, okay? Four forces means you must have four work done. So I got all the four work done already. A, B, C, D, you see? Work done by normal force, work done by gravitational force, work done by, uh, make it red color. Huh? I work done by external force and work done by uh, friction. Uh, work done by friction. Uh, so I got the four work done ready. Now I want to find the total work done. Total work done means the network done. Uh, question E. So what is the network done? Network done is total all the work done. Work done by normal, work done by gravitational uh, force, work done by uh, external force, and work done by friction. Uh, work done by friction. So total up them up, we have a 0 plus 0 plus, uh, this one is a positive 3194.54. Uh, and then uh, plus another uh, negative value, which is a uh, negative 2000. See that? Negative 2000. Uh, negative. The negative you must put, uh, you must, the negative you must put, uh, uh, because, okay? Uh, so you can see, uh, uh, you can see over here, right? Uh, this part is increase the kinetic energy, but this part uh, is uh, decreasing the kinetic energy. Do you see that? Uh, so uh, the yeah, this energy increase the kinetic energy, but this energy decrease. This work done decrease the kinetic energy. So the network done should have the, the kinetic energy increase is more than the kinetic energy decrease. So the network done should increase the kinetic energy. Okay, should increase the kinetic energy. You should get a positive value. So 3194.54. Okay, uh, plus a negative 2000. So what do you get? You get uh it is positive, uh positive 1194. 
uh, 5 4 joule ah so you get a positive work done positive work done what it means it means uh, the kinetic energy finally of the, the kinetic energy of the block will finally increase also yeah because the work done to increase the kinetic energy is more than the work done that will decrease the kinetic energy uh, so the network done is a positive work done work done on the system uh, the kinetic energy it, that means the block will gain kinetic energy the kinetic energy of the block will increase okay so uh, that's it uh, for this question let's move on